Okay, we have retained another integral. This one's from the UNSW integration, be from 2019, problem 28. We have the integral from zero to pi, sine 2019x over two, over sine x over two dx. Okay, now this is a problem I actually did before. I did this about a year ago using the Dirichlet kernel, using the formula for that. And recently I came across kind of a different way to do it. Still pretty similar, but I thought it was an interesting variation. So I thought I would try it out on this problem. So for my first step on this, I just want to clean up the half angles on this. So what I can do for a u substitution is set u equal to x over two. Solving for x, we have x equal to two u, get a derivative to get our dx value. Then what's gonna happen is dx is gonna be two du. So we'll do the substitution here. First, we'll plug in our upper bound pi. That's gonna give this, this upper bound is gonna turn into pi over two. Plug in zero, we still have zero. Now, we're really just cleaning up the x over two, so this is on the numerator, it's gonna become sine 2019u, and then here, this is gonna become sine of u. For the two on the du, let's just bring that up front of the integral like this. And here, I'll try this technique that I learned from the Vienna integration, B, but I'm gonna need some more space because it's a very long, it's a very long way to break this up. So what we'll do, we'll kind of make a really, <laughs> A really long fraction like that and let's move this over and I'll explain how this works after but right now what I want to do is I want to just kind of create a term here set sine of 2017 you just subtracting 2 from this I don't want to change it right so we need to add this back so we add back sine 2017 u and what I'm doing here is creating sine terms where the angle differs by 2 and we're subtracting and then I want to do the same thing here. I'm going to create a term sine of 2015u. So again, we're differing by two. I don't want to change it. So I do, I have to add back another sine of 2015u. That way, like here, we're adding zero. Here, we're adding zero. So we're not changing it. Now, I know I don't really have enough room to show this. So let's kind of just pretend that this line continues. And we'll just kind of continue with this fraction down here just so I can show it. Then we'll kind of clean it up a little bit. So then let's actually bring this sine 2015 down here. So we'll have sine 2015 u, and then what I want to do is I want to subtract off sine of 2013 u. And what we want to do is we want to just continue with this. Of course, I'm not going to write out 2,000 terms or whatever, but let's do the last couple. So I think, let's see, eventually we're going to get down to like sine of 5 u minus sine of 3 u, and then we have to add again because then this is going to be zero and then what i can do is subtract off sine u and then i'd like to stop here but then we have changed it because we have a minus sine u so in order to be adding zero i'll add a sine u here and we'll kind of like write in a du right there and of course this is all over this same sine u but now that we have this all written out like this let me clean it up and put it back under like one integral on one line just so we don't have to look at it like this Okay, so now let's just look at why this arrangement is useful. Coming down here with our formula, here we have our different angle formula for uh, cosine and sine. This first way is typically how we usually see this, but you'll notice we can just rearrange it. If you multiply both sides by two, and then we've got it kind of just reverse the order, and now we have a different formula. So the way I want to use this is, if we could take any one of these, but let's just kind of use this first example where we have sine 2019 u minus sine 2017 u that's going to be like this right here where we're subtracting two sines with the angle differing by two so like coming here for this a plus b value we're saying a plus b equals 2019 and for this a minus b that's going to be this 2017 right here just kind of dropping the u on it because it doesn't matter now if we add these two together, the b's cancel, we have 2a, and this is gonna become 4036, or a is gonna be just equal to 2018, which is right between 2017 and 2019 is 2018. And then if we subtract these two equations over here, the a's are gonna cancel out, we're gonna get 2b, subtracting 2017 from 2019, we have two, so b is gonna be equal to one. So for this case, using the formula here, this is gonna transform, so using this, it's gonna become two cosine 2018 u, and then our sine of b, that's just gonna be sine of u. And so the reason this is gonna help us is because this b is gonna be equal to one in every case, 
because in each case we've set it up where the angles differ by two. So in each case, we're gonna end up with a sine u term, but we have that in the denominator. So in every single one of these, the sine u is gonna cancel out and we just need to focus on the cosine term. And then we know what that's gonna to be too, that's just gonna be the value in between the upper and the lower, so like 2018. So now let's just use this thing in order to rewrite our integral. We still have this two out front, bounds the same. Now on every single term, we're gonna have this two in front. So I'm gonna, because that's in the formula, so we're just gonna factor a two in front here. And then for the first term, we're gonna have cosine 2018u, and I'm already assuming the sine u is gonna cancel out every one of them, so I'm not even gonna write the denominator. We're just gonna have cosine 2018u. And then the next one, the same exact kind of thing is gonna happen, but it's gonna be, for that one, it's gonna be between 2017 and 2015, so we take the middle term, which is gonna be cosine of 2016u, and then, of course, we're going to do this a thousand times or whatever it is exactly until we get to let's let's focus on this example. So again, we want the middle between one U and three U. So this one's going to become cosine two U. Again, we've got the two factored out, the sine cancels. And then this one, we need to break this off separately because because for this last piece, we're going to have sine U, but it's over sine U. So really, we just have a one on the end. And now here I'm about ready to integrate, but let's just distribute in this two before we do it. So distributing the two to the plus one, this is gonna become a plus two right here. And distributing two to two, this is gonna become a four. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and integrate. This is all gonna be easy stuff to integrate. So we'll have the four out front. Integral here is gonna become sine 2018u over 2018. And then for the next one, we're gonna have here sine 2016u over 2016. We integrate like a thousand terms, and then we'll do this last one, integrating cosine two, that's gonna become sine two u over two. And then here, just integrating two, that's gonna become two u. And we just need to evaluate from zero to pi over two. What? <laughs> but just notice when you plug zero in here, it's zero. All the sine terms at zero are zero. So this piece is going away. And then evaluating pi over two, that's interesting. So. The thing is, all of our sine terms, we have even angles in every single case. So like all the way down to here, like if you do sine 2u times 2 times pi over 2 is just pi. So that one's going to be 0. But really, because these are all even, every single one of these is going to 0. And so this whole part of the thing goes away. So all we need to do is just plug pi over 2 into 2u. So for my final solution, we just have pi. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from UNSW 2019. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.